So we were presented with this case ng 5 month old female Yogi. Hindi niya kasi maipapak yung kanang front leg niya doon sa semento. Nasasaktan siya, no? And even kapag hawakan daw ito ng may-ari, talaga nasasaktan. So dinala sa clinic natin and for examination, we found out na nabalian pala itong puppy na ito. So ang topic natin ngayon, metacarpal fractures. Paano nangyayari ito? Anong gagawin natin at anong treatment ang pwede nating ibigay? So, Welcome back guys, my name is Dr. Fertzresho. I'm a vet, I'm an animal doctor, and every week we post videos, cases, topics, tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. And this week we are going to talk about fractures again. No? Pero this time, sa metacarpal fracture naman. No? Sa tao, ang metacarpals is ito, itong bahagi na ito, itong likod na ito ng kamay. So yan yung metacarpals. No? Sa mga aso at pusa, usually yung mga puppies and kittens, ito yung usually na fracture. Pag tumalon sila from a height, pababa, no, ayun yung nag absorb ng pressure. And uh, comes in contact with the ground, kaya ito usually nababali sa kanila, especially sa mga young ones, sa mga kittens at puppies. No? Pero yung case natin ngayon is a puppy. It is made dif more difficult because maliit siya masyado. No? Masyado maliliit yung bato. Kaya this adds up to the difficulty. So, ano nga bang causes niyan? Number one cause is trauma. Yung kung tumalon sa hagdan, naipit ng pinto, naapakan. Yan yung usually cause nitong ganitong uri ng fracture. Ano ba yung mga signs na ma-observe natin sa isang aso or pusa na may metacarpal fracture? Number one, there is pain. So, sobrang sakit niyan kasi nga bali yung buto eh. Bali yung mga buto. Number two is swelling na mamaga. So, after some time, especially... After a few hours na nangyari yan, nakikita mo na mamaga na yung paa. No? So, uh, lalong hindi niya na, may, may warmth din also dun sa area na yan. And kung makakapa mo, you will also notice number three, crepitus. No? Makikita nyo yung, yung kanyang, yung mga buto na, that are dislocated and they're not in a straight line anymore. Makakapa mo yan. No? So, Siyempre, huwag niyong gagawin ito, nagising yung aso. Usually, ginagawa ito ng mga vets kapag sedated yung aso. No? Number four, non-weight bearing. Merong, ah, hindi niya ipatapak, which is yung primary cause kung bakit dinala sa atin yung aso. Hindi niya itinatapak yung foreleg niya. Merong loss of function. No? So, ano ba ang function ng legs? For them to run, for them to climb, for them to, uh, you know, maneuver themselves. So, kung hindi niya magawa ito, may loss of function, that is one critical sign that your dog might have injury doon sa kanyang parte na yan, ng paa. Okay, so this is Luna, no? She's a 5-year-old female Yorkie. Uh, Na-accidente siya a few days ago. Napansin na lang ng owner niya, limping! Hindi lumalakan, hindi niya itinutungtong yung kanang paa niya sa harapan, no? So, dito na sa clinic sa atin, sa Jupiter. And then when we did some radiographs, we found out the metal tires. Yung buto niya, dito sa digits, ay fractured, no? The, yung apat na buto, itong 1, 2, 3, and 4, no? And so today, dinala siya dito para lagyan natin ng pins, correct natin yung uh, broken bones dito sa, sa, sa baan niya, no? We already did initial shaving, e, binigyan na natin siya ng ano, ng... Uh, uh, sedative and pain meds. Yeah, medyo grogi na siya. No? And in a while, we will proceed with bone pinning. Paano ginagamot? There are two ways of treating this. No? Number one is surgical and non-surgical. I-discuss muna natin yung non-surgical. Non-surgical, ibig sabihin, hindi natin hihiwain, wala tayong ilalagay na bakal uh, dun sa loob para i-apose ito. Una muna, gagawa natin close reduction. Baba natin. This is under, of course, anesthesia and then Pag perfectly aligned na, alam natin na tamang saktong-sakto na, no? So, we're going to put weights, perfectly aligned, sisimentohan siya. Or lalagyan ng fiberglass, or lalagyan ng bandage, no? Uh, ideally, bandage yung nilalagay, no? Depende sa condition, depende sa case, so case to case basis, no? Tawag dyan, non-surgical, close reduction, co-optation technique. So, usually, ginagawa ang method number one, yung non-surgical, kapag less than 24 hours. 
no? Walang infection, tapos yung type ng fracture ay simple fracture lang, diretso. Punta naman tayo doon sa second type, surgical. So, ibig sabihin, bubuksan natin, lalagyan natin ng internal fixation uh, materials. Usually, nilalagay dyan pins, uh, plates. So, yun yung mga nilalagay dito sa, sa mga bakal. No? Depende sa laki ng buto yung ilalagay na internal fixation materials. No? Either pins or plates. Pero sa case natin, it's a 5-month-old sa puppy, your kipa. So, kailangan talaga natin ng mas maliit na internal fixator. Usually, maliit na, na, na pin. Okay. Mas, uh, syempre, kapag may surgical intervention, mas malaki yung possibility ng complications, no? And, however, usually, yung surgical technique ginagawa kapag more than 24 hours at saka yung fracture is not simple. So, in this case, I opted for a surgical technique with uh, internal fixation uh, kasi it's more than 24 hours already actually mga 4 days na eh. and then oblique yung fracture no lalo na yung first yung number 3 and number 4 are, are obliquely uh, misaligned so talagang kailangan na natin kailangan na natin lagi ng pin so that's that is what we did Ito na si Luna, no? So, nalagay na natin yung dalawang pins dito sa, ano, number, number uh, 4 and number 5, no? Okay. Nalagay na natin sa number 4 and number 5. Okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. And then, uh, yun na dito naman, uh, pan-inspection, okay naman sila, no? So, uh, kapag na-stabilize natin ito, paano ito, that will eventually heal on its own. So just you just need to uh, stabilize it and uh, uh, the bone formation and the bone um, healing will take place doon sa lugar na yun. No? So, uh, so hindi pa siya makakalakad for maybe a couple of weeks. The manner of treatment is dependent on a lot of factors. Yung age, type of fracture, capability of the owner to pay. That's very important. At saka yung health status, of course, ng animal. No? So, maswerte tayo na yung uh, dinala sa atin sa 5-month-old puppy. So, ibig sabihin yung healing ability niya maganda pa. At saka walang infection masyado. In nga lang, it's more than 24 hours and the, the fracture is oblique. So I opted for a surgical technique. But the procedure will took us around 1 or 2 hours to finish. Mabilis lang naman. So yung answer natin, si Luna stayed in the clinic for 3 days kasi talagang pagkampaga yung the owner opted to bring the dog home na lang. At siya na lang daw yung magagamot sa bahay. Which is okay also. No? Tandaan kapag may naobserbahan kayo na parang hindi tama din sa mga alaga ninyong aso at pusa, dalhin nyo agad sa veterinaryo para magawan uh, ng karampatang eksaminasyon at yung tamang lunas na pwede natin ibigay sa kanila. Kasi pag mas pinatagal pa natin, mas lalong lalala, mas lalong lalaki ang gastos ninyo. If you've reached this part, congratulations and thank you. Also, 
And uh, if you can also visit the previous topics that we did in the past, uh, click nyo lang yan, share nyo sa mga friends nyo, and ilike nyo na rin. No? Subscribe kayo sa YouTube channel so you will be updated sa mga latest uploads and cases that I'm going to post here. Again, my name is Doc Forstresho, and see you again next week.